then we are going to look into how to design a more comprehensive and simple form in Google Forms. Now most of you would have used Google Forms to develop your questionnaire. But in this case, I will address certain important points that I have seen uh, leads to low response rates. Now, how to develop a form, what you need to do is you need to go to forms.google.com and once you are in it, just click this blank here. What you get is this new blank form. Let's give it a title, social responsibility in higher education. You can add a form description if you want any instructions if you want so just add them here now this is the questionnaire we plan to design here are the demographic information that we need to collect and then these are the latent constructs with items for each of the latent constructs the observed variables so our first is age and we want age to be open-ended so here the respondents can type their answers now there are a number of options that you can select in this case it's a short answer and is a number and you can give error text if you want enter a number if you want it to be a required answer that everybody has to fill this you have to select this and just click it so now it has changed its color now it's a required answer next we'll add gender and it's a multiple choice question you can write male you can write female and add other options let's make this required as well now let's say we want to add these questions now there are two ways you can add these questions the first one is add separate questions for instance, you add this as a separate question and then you add the options, strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, agree and strongly agree. You can write the full form, it's always recommended to write the full form or you can give the full form in the description here. But if you do this, what you are doing is you are taking too much space in the form. And once the, the respondent sees a questionnaire which has got like the length is too much, they feel reluctant to fill it. The best way to do it is like create a new question right here. Internal stakeholder responsibilities. And then choose multiple choice grid and once you select multiple choice grid just copy all these questions from here and paste it in rows now what you can do is give your options strongly disagree disagree neutral agree and strongly agree. This way it will take less space and once it takes less space it creates some kind of psychological uh, ease in, in the mind of the respondent that okay this is not a very large questionnaire to fill in. So obviously uh, when you are doing online questionnaires the length matters, the time that they spend on the questionnaire matters, the, the scrolling matters. So this gives you another easy option using multiple choice grids you can obviously use this option and put more questions in one location okay let's make it sure that okay everybody responds and if you want to create separate pages what you can do is you can add another section this could be section 2 and let's name it for instance uh, ethical responsibilities And in this section, I'm going to add the first question. Let's make it a multiple choice grid. And similarly, if you've got in multiple choice grid, the user can select one option from each row for each question. In checkbox grid, in checkbox grid, the user or the respondent can select multiple columns from each row. 
so in this case we are going to go for multiple choice grid or there is another option let's say you can use linear scale as well and it is from 1 to 5 and you can label this scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree the problem will remain you can only add one single statement so when you've got a large questionnaire which in this case is true it's a two-page questionnaire if you add one single item like one single question like this multiple choice question it will create a very lengthy questionnaire you can use drop down you can ask to upload files as well you can have paragraphs if you are doing qualitative research you can add date and time so the best option in this case or in survey based research is that you use multiple choice grid so if you go on and let's see let's view this and see this question if you've got 60 questions so this will take this much space for each question and that will be a that will show that it's it's a very lengthy questionnaire but if you use multiple choice grid you see how many questions you have accommodated in such a small space so this is how you can use it and then when you create or click next you get to the next section which was ethical responsibilities now you can go back to edit and if you want to do certain settings go to settings you can collect email addresses if you want you can limit the response if you want you can allow them to edit the response after they make submission you can obviously give them a chance to see summary and text responses you can obviously show a link to another response you can shuffle questions if you are developing a questionnaire you want to shuffle the responses you can show them a progress bar okay this is much how much they have progressed and you can add a confirmation message as well if it's quiz, obviously you can make uh, other changes, but this is obviously focusing on survey data. Okay, let's cancel it. And now, if you want to send it to the respondents, what you can do is, obviously you can collect email addresses, you can email it to the respondents right from here, and or you can include the form in email. You can add collaborators as well, so that they can edit and view the responses. You can share it on Facebook, Twitter, and here is the link to the questionnaire. It's always recommended to shorten the URL, just copy it and circulate it via social media, email or any other means. You can embed it obviously in your websites. So this is how you can create a questionnaire. And once you get the responses, you can obviously get these responses in a spreadsheet. So let's uh, uh, just one thing. You can add images, you can add videos for anything, you can add um, another title and description as well if you want, anywhere in the document. You can change the theme as well if you want. For instance, you can change the color, any color, you can change it to white, you can choose the image for the header as well, any font style, obviously just play with it. Now let's say we've got a few questionnaires here, and how do we see the responses? Okay, here are a few questionnaires. Let's see, we take, let's see this one. So you can go to responses. And for this one, we got 229 responses. We collected the emails and names, education, organization, country, and then obviously you can have responses pertinent to each question you can have a look at the individual responses as well or there could be another example let's say this one so look at the responses the emails and then it can give you a graphs as well which you can easily copy and in this case these are the graphs so we, you can copy and you can get these responses in Excel sheet by just clicking this button here and it will give you an Excel sheet which you can easily download onto your computer just click file download 
and you can download it in any format that you like thank you very much